Hey, this is Brett with Summit Auto in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. Today, I thought I'd check out this brand new 2021 Jeep Wrangler Sport. This vehicle has a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 motor, which pumps out 285 horsepower. It's combined with the eight-speed automatic transmission. It's gonna get you 24 miles per gallon on the highway, 20 city for a combined total of 21 miles per gallon. Hydro blue, pearl coat is the color. We shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second, so if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, or a smartphone device, turn them on right now because it is definitely your best way to check out the looks, styling, and options of this particular Jeep before seeing it in person. And if you'd like to check out our entire inventory in the upper right hand part of your screen is a link to our website, click that and check us out there. This is a 25S package and it's got a couple add-ons on it. Comes with the um, 17 inch painted alloy rims and it has Michelin 245 75R17 tires. And these are kind of a all-terrain tread pattern on there. So this one has the side steps, which are an addition. I do like the blacked out Jeep logo and the Wrangler Sport logo on there. Comes with the normal halogen headlamps, the plastic front bumpers, get the tow hooks on there. Notice you do get the little Jeep logo on your headlight. Get the running lights and the fenders. Little Easter eggs here, you get the sandals on that plastic shroud and you also get the Jeep climbing up the side of your windshield. You also get the T50 indicator on there so you know which Torx wrench to take your doors off with. We're going to take a look at the original window sticker. I'm not going to go through everything on it but just some of the more important points. Feel free to pause this at any second. Make sure that this one has all the options you're looking for. 3.6 liter uh, V6 with the e-torque, eight speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left there is your standard equipment. Your optional equipment are the Hydro Blue Pro Coat, which is $245 option. Customer preferred 25S package is $3,200, which gives you the silver rims, the deep tint sunscreen windows, heated power mirrors and the power windows. You also get remote keyless entry, automatic headlamps, the leather wrapped steering wheel, speed sensitive power locks, and then the sun visors with illuminated vanity mirrors. This one also has the technology group, which is a $995 option, gives you Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as the seven inch LCD or TFT color display. You connect four with the seven inch display, air conditioning with automatic temperature control. This one also has six months of Sirius XM free. Trailer tow and heavy duty electrical group is 795, which gives you the auxiliary switches, the 700 amp maintenance free battery, class two receiver hitch, and seven and four pin wiring. Also has a safety group, which gives you the LED tail lamps and the reverse parking system. 8-speed automatic t transmission and the 3.6 liter combined are a $3,000 option. And you also get the hard top, which is a $1,495 option. Those side steps are a $695 option for a total MSRP of $41,390. Three year 36 bumper to bumper warranty and five year 60 powertrain warranty. Your miles per gallon are right there. 24 highway, 20 city, an average of 21. Safety ratings, not too bad. Four star front and then a three star rollover, not rated for the other ones. I do like Hydro Blue on the Wranglers. You don't see very many two doors in the Hydro Blue color. So that's one of the reasons I really wanted to do a video on this one. You do get the trailer tow group, which gives you the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring those LED tail lamps and the reverse parking sensors on there as well. Back storage area, you get the case for the front hardtop pieces. And you do get a little bit of storage area underneath here as well as spots for your door hinge and roof and windshield bolts. 
These seats fold down and then up for extra storage and you can actually remove these seats by pulling this little lever down and then it will uh, release and you can pull that out and actually remove it to get it back into place. You just set it down, pull that strap and it'll lock right into place. So pretty nice system there to get these hard top pieces off. There's three bolts on the side, one on the top of each side, so a total of eight bolts. There's two quick disconnects with spots to put them. You can see all the bars are color matched, so when you do have that top off, it matches the rest of the vehicle. And then you do get the JL badge back here, which gives you the two-door, four-door wheelbase and overall length, as well as water fording right there. I like the new rear gates, they shut a lot smoother than the old ones on the JKs. Four wheel disc brakes, kind of get an idea of that hard top there. Those front pieces come, come off first and then the back piece comes off. You do get the blind spot monitoring and heated mirrors in the mirrors. Sport package gives you the black cloth interior driver's side lumbar and seat height adjust. They do have side airbags now. Factory floor mats. To get to that second row, you can see that front seat slides up pretty far. It does have latch child safety system back there. If you want to try and get a car seat back there, that is uh, that's all up to you. Uh, like I said on the window sticker, it does have the auto headlamps, the tilt and telescopic steering wheel, power mirrors, power locks. And as we hop inside here, we'll turn the instrument cluster on so you can see the radio and everything. You get the Jeep animation right there. I'll brighten it up a little bit. You do get a digital speedo speedometer, compass display, um, you can put time, miles per gallon, all that good stuff on there. It's all um, configurable. You get that leather-wrapped steering wheel, cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, and audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. That technology group gives you the 7-inch TFT radio, the Uconnect 4, so it gives you AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. Um, you can do your climate controls here as well. Notice you do have the dual climate control, which is nice. Uh, you can do media and stuff here. And then you can also do your apps. You have the backup camera, which is an HD backup camera. You can see just how crystal clear that is. And those grid lines are dynamic, meaning that they're going to turn as you turn that steering wheel, which is nice when you're hooking up to a boat, camper, or trailer. And notice that that center line lines right up with your receiver hitch so you can get hooked up to whatever you're towing the first time every time um, without a lot of help. You can actually turn that camera off. And then it does have the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay on here as well where you can project your cell phone to the screen through that those systems. So if you have a navigation system on your cell phone such as Waze or Google Maps, you can project it to the screen and it's like you just just like you have nav on your screen there. So even though this radio doesn't come with nav, you can add it through Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. It's a really neat system. We actually did a demo on Android Auto if you want to check that out in the upper right hand part of your screen. Down here are your, all your climate controls, your start stop capabilities, which you can turn those off, stability control, parking sensors, you can turn those off. It does have the downhill assist control and you can turn that screen off um, as well. Power windows, you have a media center here. USB, USB-C, and an AUX jack, and then here are your four upfitter switches, uh, part of that trailer tow group. 4x4 four four shifter right there, your 8-speed automatic transmission, you get the little Jeep logo on the top, and here's your keyless entry, has the flipper key on it, and it's a real chunky key fob, you're always going to know which key you have in your pocket, and uh, I do like the flipper key, it's pretty neat. You get that kind of mineral gray painted dash on the sports. It seems like all the different trim levels, they put something different on the dash. Like the Saharas are leather, the Rubicons are red, some of them are gray. You get the 
LED lights up there and the quick disconnects on those front hard top pieces are almost identical to the um, ones on the JK. Uh, the only thing different is they don't have the screw ins right here that the JK's did. Um, so they come off a little bit easier than the JK's. Anyways, we'll do one more final walk around with the lights on and everything. So you can see those LED tail lamps. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. And hopefully from this HD video, you'll have gotten a really good look at this 2021 Jeep Wrangler Sport in Hydro Blue Pro Coat. I really like it. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got it. Go to our website right there, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left, a link to more Jeep Wrangler videos like this one on your right. If you have not been to our website, on the bottom a link to our inventory on our website click those check us out and we're super excited to be offering wranglers just like this 2021 jeep wrangler sport in hydro blue pearl coat thanks again for checking out the video